Hello everyone. Good evening. Decided I would do a uh, wine review tonight. Since we opened the bottle to use it with dinner. Tonight will be a wine from Australia. It's called the Stump Jump. And it is their uh, Syrah. The S-H-I-R-A-Z. Vintage 2012. Coming in at 14.3% alcohol. Imported by Old Bridge Sellers out of Napa, California. Show you all the bottle. They have a couple ones that look like this. Uh, they have a mixed. Then they have this one. And as noted, this one is Vintage 2012. There it is in the glass. It's a screw cap top, so there's no cork. So you just buy it and you can just drink it right straight from there if you wish. Although I advise uh, not doing that. It is um, vented and bottled by Eddie Arndeberg, PTY, LTD. Since 1912, the Osborne family have tended vineyards in McLaren Val, South Australia. The grapes used in this wine are mostly from very old bush wines and underwent gentle crushing, traditional open tank fermentation, basket pressing, and oak maturation prior to bottling. It is rumored that the inventor of the stump jump plow which enabled a plowshare to jump over tree roots, had poor eyesight and required regular tests to ensure he could still operate machinery. If you can hold this bottle at arm's length and still read the front label, you can enjoy another glass of wine. Or just enjoy another glass. I guess they kind of say that because they have a look like as if you're going to an eye doctor. Well, as always, I got through that basics. Uh, there's really no uh, description of the wine itself. And I didn't really bother to go look it up. So, just kind of going into this kind of a little blind, uh, which is alright. But, uh, I'll give you all the um, nose notes, and then we'll go on to the tasting from there. So, here's what it's doing on the nose. You definitely get these spice aromas. Sort of like a uh, black pepper. You get these dark, these dark fruits like uh, uh, black cherry. Other sorts of dark berries. little leather in there. I want to say like a, a slight teeny hint of maybe like a uh, chocolate or like a cocoa. Then it definitely has like a, a somewhat light sweetness on there like a a molasses or syrup of some sort Let's see what it's doing on the uh, palate Definitely has a uh, 
a tartness on it. Hmm. You know, you are getting that um, those dark berries, like a little uh, dark cherry, blackberry. Has this little jam like taste on it too. It's a little jammy. Now it's starting to get like a little bitter taste. So you get these like spices, but it's 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 kind of a little bit bitter finish. Uh, and then it goes on and off. I mean, it's like it, it's tart, but it's also it's like a. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's really harsh, but if you're new to wine, you probably would think it would be. If you are at least have some familiarity with different types of wines, you would probably be able to do this, although, you know, you, you might just not enjoy it. There's no... Hmm. There's really no, like... Bursting flavor here. This is not. It's not like a mouth watering. It's not just. It's not fruity. It doesn't just. It doesn't like give you this juicy, nice mouth fill. It's just kind of a whole bunch of things going on. You know, you got as I said, tartness, bitterness, and somewhat jammy. But it's it's like dry at the very end it's just hmm a little disappointing actually I mean you know granted it is $7.99 a bottle maybe $9.99 regular $7.99 on sale so you know you're kind of walking into it thinking hmm you know it's a cheap wine but you know, not that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. But I mean, this definitely shows now after you realize how much you would pay for it that it's just a. I mean, it, it really is just a wine. You just what like you you just you know fourteen point three. It's just a wine. You would just take to a group of friends house you're not really looking to really have a good time or not, not, not necessarily a good time but maybe or maybe you do want to have a good time and you know this is what you drink so you can get drunk easily uh but i mean i would not i would not like you know if you're going to like a nice dinner party i would not bring this wine and go oh man look at this nice bottle of wine no it's it's just just it is one of those, it is just something that you just have around the house. You don't feel like opening a cork. It's a twist off. You're just like, hey, you know what? Screw it. I'm bored. I just want to drink wine and I don't really care about flavor or taste or anything. Uh, that, that's what this type of wine is. Uh, it might be better paired with food. But at the same time, I, I, I just, the only thing I would see that would really play well into that is sort of the tight... Uh, spite, spiciness, and a uh, uh, sort of bitterness that comes at the end, uh, along with the slight little tartness at the beginning. Um, overall, it's just there's no lingering flavors. There's nothing dancing on your tongue. Uh, there's just really nothing, nothing in here. It's just as soon as it hits the tip of the tongue, you get an instant note of these few berries. And this, you know, tartness and pepper, but it's it's pretty much, it's pretty much gone before. Uh, it's pretty much gone as soon as it hits the tongue. So um, it is. It's disappointing. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a total blow. Because I have had wines before that I have just absolutely flat out refused to drink again. I mean, I would probably refuse to drink this one again. But, I, I would say I would refuse to buy it again. If I'm at a friend's house and they're like, hey, I have Stump Jump. 
Okay, yeah, I know what I'm getting myself into. And it's not not like it's, like I said, it's not like it's overpowering with awfulness. Like a couple wines I drank ago. But it's definitely just has no excitement. Uh, nothing I would really brag about. So on that note, I would give this a... I would give this a 2 out of 5. Um... For, as as I mentioned earlier, for those who are new to wine and are really getting started and you really haven't had much wine, do not because this will just totally ruin your experience and you'll probably will never want to drink wine again. But for those of you that have had wine and have somewhat more experience and knowledge, um... Then most likely you would know this wine and you would probably agree with me. But if you haven't had it and you're still just, you know, trying to expa um, expand your palate. Hey, you know, by all means, go and try it. Uh, just because I don't like it doesn't necessarily mean you will or you won't. Um, but I can just say from what I'm getting that it's just... Is, is, is nothing exciting. Looking at the vintage 2012 though. Could be into play. Maybe this is the type of thing. That you might want to drink. Uh, maybe if this was a 14 vintage. Maybe there might be something going. So maybe it's kind of. Has passed. Or is right at it's. Shelf life. And it's just now something that. Is just you know. Better to. Uh, just drink quickly and with something than just to enjoy sip by sip because it really isn't a savory wine it's just a wine to uh, just drink down so yeah 2 out of 5 Stump Jump Syrah uh, they have another one out there, as I mentioned, but I do not think I will be wanting to try that one based off of this experience. So, if you all do find it and you all do try it, let me know. Although, who knows, I say that a lot and I always end up trying different ones because the other one is a newer vintage and it's a mixed. So, maybe there will be a little bit different going on in that one. Uh, I don't plan on trying anytime soon as I got quite a few others on my note, on my uh, to drink list. So maybe next year, January or February. But until next time, everyone, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. It's always a pleasure sharing wines with you, whether I like them or not. Because that way, I look at it this way I try it first, so you don't have to. There we go. I know someone's probably already taken that line, so, you know, uh, sorry, hopefully it's not copyrighted, but anyway, uh, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, cheers.